um, a, a friend of mine who believes she saw the the ten point program of the Workers Party and and she loved it and believed in it. And she said that when she saw the symbol for the Workers Party, the red, white, and blue RAF kind of symbol, that she thought immediately that we were a, a right wing party, even though she'd read the ten point program by that point. And I think it's kind of a real shame that the left have been trained to feel that they shouldn't be proud of their country. What other country is there? that is so ashamed to be from where they're from. That's um... None, there's none. And I, I alluded to this test last week. Uh, if the French Communist Party, in the height of its power, in the form of Georges Marché, the legendary general secretary, can talk about socialism in the colours of France, can give speeches with the French national flag beside them. France was an imperialist country too, just like Britain, just like many others. That doesn't mean you hate the flag. It might not be the flag that we, if we were starting from scratch, would choose. It might not be. But it's our country's flag. And substantial numbers of people in our country whose support we want, like the flag, consider that it is their flag. It is our flag. We live in a state. We're seeking to take over that state. How can we take it over? Only by the democratic support of the people of that state. So again, it's a no-brainer. If you want to persuade the people of a state to support you and put you into power, you better not look and sound like you actually hate the state, the country, the flag, and ultimately the people in the country you're trying to win power in.